Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Almighty God <coughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen while welcoming this distinguished audience I extend my heart and thanks to my good friends in the Kuwait India Council for bestowing upon me the honor of patronage of this seminar India welcomes the world is the theme of this seminar. This theme might be looked upon as an invitation to investors, to traders, to tourists, to intellectuals, and to deep spiritualism speakers. Definitely all these groups will find in India what they seek. But to me, the theme represents the reality of Indian people whose generosity furnishes the food for the body, the mind, and the heart. President Shafiz, as we have read, expressed his thanks and admiration during and after his visit to India because he saw the Indians as they really are. What I sincerely hope to see worldwide is this kind of relationship between states and peoples. The world international as well as human relations are in great need of the straightforward and honest approach that President Shivaz so underappreciated in India. I am not going to invade the right of His Excellency Ambassador Fernandez who is going to talk about globalization. But I like to emphasize that global, globalization needs the spirit of Mahatma Gandhi, where dignity, equality, to, tolerance, and mutual respect are observed. I do agree with those, with those who call for just globalization which simply means the application of equity among the members of the human family, where cooperation as well as positive and moral competition is the rule. Cooperation for survival and competition for advancement. We all hope that the advancement will be in favor of all nations. This should be the future, the postmodernism, and thank you.